Hi friends, it's Belinda here from Be Making Joy and welcome to my channel. Today is Tuesday, January 24th and I'm here to share with you what I've been knitting on and what has brought me joy in the past two weeks since we spoke last. I hope to have this video edited and uploaded by the end of the day so you can watch it on Wednesday. And my intention for this channel in 2023 is to upload a uh, Whip Wednesday video for you every second Wednesday and to share with you what has brought me joy. And um, it will mostly be knitting. There will be the occasional tutorial video thrown in in between these episodes if it relates to my work. And uh, yeah, it will be mostly knitting. I, I have many self-published patterns and I enjoy doing knit-alongs and I make whatever my family requests. So you'll see quite a variety in my work. I'm not a fast knitter, so there won't be very many finished objects, but I'm always knitting, so there should always be progress to show you. If you've seen me before, you might notice that I'm not at home. Um, we're in Fernie this week. That's the big uh, joy this week is that I get to spend some time with my husband and our middle daughter. We have three adult daughters and this middle one lives in Edmonton. So it's nice to have a whole 10 days to spend with her and her friends are joining us later this weekend. So we're fortunate to be right on the ski hill here. So you might see the occasional skier go back past the window behind me. Or just, I'll show you our other window right here, the nice view we have here of the ski hill. I did a walkabout yesterday and took some video clips, so at the end of this video, I'll add some clips of the ski hill. And um, let's see, so let's get into the knitting. I finished three things since I recorded last, and I have one almost finished object that will be done in the next day or two. So the first finished object is my Velvet Waves cowl. I released this pattern last week. I finished this version for myself. The first version that I designed the pattern on was for my daughter. So I finished this one complete. I don't know if the pom-poms were on it the last time I showed you, so they're done now. I also completed another one that I'll insert a picture here. It's for a friend of mine that I didn't bring it with me here, of course. So I'll give that to her when I get back home. Uh, it's the Velvet Waves, Velvet Waves Cowl. It's a pattern that I published to Ravelry and Etsy last week. Uh, it uses six millimeter needles and a bulky weight Chanel velvet type of yarn. So it's a very fast knit. It's an all over cable pattern. So it's nice and thick and cozy. And the pattern includes tutorial videos. The other finished object I have to show you is this maritime blanket. Let's see, I'm gonna go try to give you a full view of it. Oops, it goes this way. So this is the maritime blanket, it's a pattern a kit that came from Mary Maxine. Mary Maxine in Canada is a mail order company that has been in existence since the 1930s. So uh, the yarns are Mary Maxine yarns. It all came complete in a kit. And I've been working on it for the past four or five years. It's done first, the horizontal stripes are done in a garter stitch. So miles of garter stitch. And then when that was complete, the vertical stripes were woven through with a tapestry needle, one column of knits at a time. <coughs> and that took me quite some time to do because I had to sit down on the floor or stand at the ping pong table to do it. And my knees couldn't stand that. So it, I'd work on it for a while and then put it away. I finished the vertical stripes back in February, but I still had the finishing touches to do. I still needed to trim off the ends of all those vertical stripes and fold over the hem and stitch it down, hiding all the tails inside the hem. 
<clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> so as I was packing to come here, I thought this mountain winter environment was the perfect motivation to finish the blankets. I could work on it on my lap, trimming those tails and sewing it all over, which I did last night over the course of two movies. So I really shouldn't have procrastinated. I could have finished it in February. It only took a few hours. So that's done. I'm calling it a finished object, even though I am still debating whether or not I need to sew down the side hems. They roll over nicely by themselves. So what do you think? Should I stitch the sides down? Let me know. Well, that's that. It's a worsted weight yarn. I'm pretty sure it's an acrylic yarn. That's the store brand from Mary Maxine. But it's nice and warm. Perfect for a wintry day. I think I'm going to go outside to the fire pit with it later. Almost finished project. My PS de resistance that I've been focusing on the most since early December is my honeycomb wall hanging that will hang on the wall behind me in my office at home. So if you've been following me, you've seen this before. You know how excited I am about it. It's my modification of the Beekeeper's Quilt, a pattern by Stephanie Dosing of Tiny Owl Knits. And I'm using the Holiday Mystery Box of 24 mini skeins done by Pearl Passion out of Estevan, Saskatchewan, an indie dyer in Estevan, Saskatchewan. And her theme was Memories and Yarn. So each row represented an event that happened in 2022. And I've only got two more colors left to do. So I think that will be done in the next day or two. So <coughs> as soon as it's complete, I will lay it out on the nice long wooden table there is behind me and, and photograph it for you, post it on Instagram. And the next time I record here, it will be on the wall behind me in my studio. I am loving this. I've been thinking about what a valuable piece of work this is using such precious yarns. Um, they're, I think they were merino nylon blend, a nice uh, sock yarn, fingering weight. I could have used it in a garment, whatnot. Uh, this project is, I put in about 150 hours or so. So if you think about an hourly wage, that's a very valuable piece of artwork. I am absolutely loving it and I can't wait to see it on the wall. So I look forward to that next episode. When it is finished, I will next focus on the Cat Venture scarf, which I have shown bits off in my 2022 year end review video. It hasn't been, oh no, it hasn't been touched since November, but here I think it's going to be a perfect spot to finish it off in this nice, nice bright sunny room with a nice big picture window, big L-shaped sofa, so I can lay it out with the yarn on one side of me and the chart on the other side, and there's still lots of room for the family. So when I finish the honeycombs, I will get back to work on this. This is the Cat Venture Scarf, patterned by Lisa Hannum Fox of Nifty Knitter Yarns. And I started it as a knit along with her, <coughs> but I fell behind. And uh, I explained why in my previous video. But I should be able to get that done during this trip because we're here for a week, a week more. So that is what I will focus on next. The other <coughs> work in progress that I brought with me 
is the half and half triangle scarf. And you know what? I should go finish this row so I can actually give you a full better view of it. But here is where I was the last time I spoke to you. There's how much progress I've done since that. I'm going to finish out this row and then come back to this recording. So, okay now, the half and half triangle wrap pattern by Pearl Soho. It's been my knitting during Zoom groups or on car trips because it's just miles and miles of stockinettes with a short row turn on every row. So this first triangle half is in the colorway lavender from Host, it's Host Coast from Denmark. And the other half will be in Jade, which I didn't bring the other color with me. Uh, let's see, so that's where I was the last time I spoke with you. The rows are getting shorter every time, so it's going faster and faster. Made a lot of progress in my Zoom knitting groups and in my um, three hour car ride here. Also worked on it a bit during my daughter's dodgeball game last Saturday, which was fun because you had to watch out for flying balls. There were really no bleachers. You're just sitting right on the side of the court, but it was fine. And it was so great to get the opportunity to go to her game. It's my middle child, the one that's actually with us now. She lives in Edmonton, so she was on a dodgeball team there. They came and played in Calgary for a tournament and they didn't win anything. They were a team that was just thrown together for only a couple of weeks of practice, but it was so much fun to get to watch them. It's been a long time since I've been a sports mom sitting on the sidelines. So that brought me so much joy. And in the last two weeks since my last video, that's how far I've gotten from this stitch marker. I think on the car ride home, I'll probably finish with the lavender. So that's taken a while because it's miles and miles of garter on a 3.25 millimeter needle with a light fingering weight yarn. <coughs> Host Coast is a cotton wool blend. So it'll be nice warm cover up for some summer nights. And let's see. <coughs> The only other project that I brought with me this trip, in case I need something else to work on, is this skirt that I am designing. It, uh, it's worked top down. So I haven't got much to say about this yet because I'm still designing it. I'm using Karen Cloud Cakes a commercial yarn that's a worked it weight. <coughs> yeah, not much more to say about it, but I brought it along in case I need something else to do. But I think I'm gonna get a lot done this week because I'm not a skier. I love just sitting here watching them and knitting and going for the occasional walks. So, um, as I said, I'll end this project with a video clip of, I'll end this video with a clip of scenes from around the hill as I was doing my walk yesterday. And <clears throat> let's recap. My whip count, before I began the year 2023, I had 15 work in progress. I sat down and made a list, wrote them all out in my book. I had 15 projects. Now I've shown you I've finished two. I've got one almost finished. <coughs> So that leaves me with 12 works in progress left. So join me again in two weeks to see how we come along with that. I thank you for watching. Please click the like button so that this video can be shared with more people. And uh, thank you so much. Um, please go find, do something that fills you with joy and uh, enjoy this video.